Okay, uh, had our first scrimmage today after five practices. Don't really have everything in, but I thought it was enough to scrimmage. I think it ended up being around 120 plays uh, when you count ones, twos, and threes. Uh, thought uh, the effort was good. Thought the guys were excited about playing uh, football today. I thought the defense uh, did an excellent job today. I think they gave up one long touchdown pass to ones. Uh, I think the ones only gave up 10 points in drive situation. The twos didn't give up any points. Uh, you know, the couple big plays they had, it was just a couple missed tackles uh, that they had the long pass to Warren Jackson. The safety makes the tackle. It's a 20-yard gain, but broke the tackle and ended up scoring a touchdown. Uh, offensive line had trouble blocking uh, Emmanuel Jones all day. Thought he wreaked havoc uh, all day in the backfield. Uh, just his, his size and his strength presented some problems for us at uh, the tackle position. Uh, Logan Stewart, a uh, kid from right down the road, uh, that's a safety playing safety for us. He showed up a couple times a day and had some nice tackles. I was pleased with what I saw out of him. Uh, Jalen Thomas, uh, walk-on tailback, I thought did some nice things. I really like this kid and, and some things that he's doing at the, at the running back position. Jaden Walker, who moved over from uh, defensive back, uh, made a couple catches today. Uh, you know, actually block some. You know, so there, there's a lot of good and, and bad from the scrimmage. Uh, you know, I think we got to come back and we got to grade it next week and have two really good practices and then go out and scrimmage again on Saturday. But uh, I like the defense's effort today. They're flying around the ball, created some turnovers, had some fourth down stops. Uh, offense is about execution and didn't execute uh, at a high enough level all day to have uh, some consistency. But you know, I've been in a lot of spring scrimmages, and a lot of times it's a struggle uh, for the offense. Today was no different, uh, but I expect them to respond and come out and have a better practice, uh, hopefully a better scrimmage uh, next Saturday. But, you know, Mando Jones was tough to handle today. Yeah, yeah, that's what we talked about. You know, it's got to treat it like a game. Uh, the approach last night, the approach getting up this morning, uh, you know, going to be on the field. Their coaches aren't going to be with them. You got to play game situations. You got to make calls. You got to communicate. And I didn't see a, you know, I, there were a few missed assignments uh, that I saw. Uh, you know, I buzzed through some of the tape upstairs uh, for a little bit before I came down here. But there weren't, there weren't a lot. Uh, and we weren't doing a lot offensive and defensively either. But I, I thought, you know, for the most part, guys communicated and, and you know, tried to execute their assignments. Now, there were times that we got whipped on either side of the ball, but it wasn't because of uh, not knowing what to do. So it was good, and we'll, we'll grade the film. We'll give them the grades and, you know, tell them where they, where they stand and, and go back and start practice again next week. You mentioned the offense a little bit, but, you know, this is the first time Patrick O'Brien had a live situation, not ducking or anything. Just kind of, how do you look at kind of I, I thought he did. Uh, you know, I think they all had their, had their moments. Uh, it was very, you know, it was very – it was a little bit chilly out there, and it was very, very windy uh, today. Uh, there were a couple times the balls got away from them uh, in the wind. There were a couple times they could have had some catches uh, that, that weren't made for either one of them. Patrick had a long touchdown pass to Warren Jackson. Uh, he shot it in the hole in, in cover two, and that was a long play to say. I can't remember what safety missed the tackle, and Warren broke it and ended up about a 50 or 60-yard uh, touchdown pass. Uh, but Patrick has talent. Patrick's got to learn what to do. He's got to learn the playbook. And, you know, if he can he can learn the playbook, and I'm not saying be a master of it, but he's got to have a better understanding of what we're trying to do offensively. Uh, but he has talent, and, you know, he likes to play ball and compete. I think there's some good competition going on there at that position. Uh, Colin did some nice things, and then there were times we didn't have we didn't have we didn't have protection. Uh, at the quarterback, uh, and I got to go back and I got to watch the film and kind of on the sidelines. It's tough to see where could we have stepped up and made some plays. You know, Justin has had some moments too of making some throws, but it was probably a little bit more run oriented uh, today uh, in in the scrimmage because of, because of the weather. Uh, there were some passes, you know, because we got some third long situation. I mean, we had three or four bad snaps at center. You know, that that put us in long yardage situations and. Uh, just kind of hurt the offense's execution, kind of self-inflicted wounds. But uh, I thought understanding of the offense, uh, I thought they did a decent job. Uh, just wasn't a lot of a lot of uh, opportunities to throw the ball 
uh, in, in this scrimmage. And I wanted to see what the run, I want to see what Marcus McElroy could do, Marvin and Jalen Thomas, who I mentioned, Drew Harris had a nice day, another walk on kid uh, that transferred from, from Army. But, uh, you know, we're down EJ Scott and then down Brendan Fulton didn't practice today and Cam Butler didn't practice. So, you know, we were in a lot of two tight ends and two receivers or two backs and two receivers. It was, you know, it was kind of an old school um, kind of smash mouth scrimmage and defense did what they need to do for the most part, which stopped to run. Yeah, I'm not real. I'm, you know, we always, you know, that's kind of the trainer staff job. They're going to tell us if a guy's going or not. Uh, I told them we ran, told them after practice, we ran 120 plays, uh, and we're going to come back next week and we're going to go after it again. You know, we went three days of full pass. Now, all three of those days weren't practice this week, but you know, we're going to go full pass next week and we're going to get after it. You know, we weren't the physical football team. Um, that I expect here last year, and the only way you can do that is, is you've got to practice physical. And I don't mean just, you know, doing things that, that aren't smart or aren't safe, uh, but it's, you know, it's playing smart football, and we got to do that day in and day out. And, you know, there's going to be competition. Are you guys embracing that? Mike? No, I think they are. I think they're embracing it. I think the defense was definitely happy uh, today. Uh, felt like they did a, did a really good job. They were excited. And, you know, we ended up going a little bit longer than I expected, but right there at the end, we said we we're going to go one more rack, and you know, for them to get another fourth down stop in the red zone, I thought that was the way the scrimmage should have ended with them having another stop and feeling like they they won the scrimmage because I thought they, for the most part, uh, ex, you know, executed at a higher level and were the dominant force today. Yeah, I thought I maybe you weren't here. Did I mention that earlier? And yeah, the, I mentioned it back in in January. Uh, you know, he's not he's not with us anymore and uh, not playing. And then Salofi was another guy, and then we've uh, two other guys that we've dismissed. So those are four guys. Then we had a, a walk on kid decided not to play. So there's been five guys, I believe, right now. Cardenas. I did talk to him and wished him the best of luck and. You know, uh, appreciate what he did here, and you know, I hope he can finish his get his degree. Like you said, it's still early, you know, only five practices in. But did you maybe accomplish everything you wanted to see from from the team? And, you know, you yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was pleased uh, today. I was pleased that we were we were getting stops defensively and what wasn't giving up the big play. Uh, we didn't throw it down downfield a lot, but they did what they need to do and. They went out and competed. They had a great mindset. We had a team meeting after in the team room, and you know, guys are guys are excited about practice and competing. And we're you know we're a little over a third of the way through. We'll have two more scrimmages, uh, the one next Saturday and the one uh, that'll be an open scrimmage on the 14th. So, um, you know, we we're looking to get better next week. But I like where they are right now as far as the competition. I uh, know we got a long way to go, and there's some missing pieces. Uh, that we got to get in here. Uh, we got to get. It was good to get Barry Wesley back at center today. He practiced the last two practices. I think that'll help us. Uh, you know, but we've got we got to we got we got to do a better job up front offensively. Uh, you know, particularly at the whoever's really lining up on Emmanuel Jones had a rough day today. It was pretty much it.